we will be answering a question, actually it's a situation of when is Senegal is getting. Um, let's see. Let me show you what's going on and then we'll take a look together. So we have um, a system here. They have five controller. I mean, it's not online right now, but they have five controller, okay? And they all KT300 controller. Now, the customer is switching that connection from a local communication with was communicating with a USB and they are replacing the first controller by a KT400. Now, the question they have is that how to proceed and maintain as much <laughs> um, configuration as possible, which means definitely we'll need to, to delete the first controller. By doing so, okay, because since we have a loop here in a five controller and it's a to a USB 485, uh, that means that in order to switch to a KT400, that could be a KT1 also, or KT2, that's the same situation. But in order to make that switch, uh, actually that could be a KT200 or KT400, but you will see soon why. Um, so again, in order to make that switch, since the IP controller has to be the first controller, which means the first one he has to go, the controller called main, it's in St. Louis. I think it's St. Louis is the, I think it's the second city of Senegal. But anyway, let's get back to the game. The, the, the first controller has to go and we'll switch we create that as a KT400 controller. Now, of course, that controller has two doors, and since we're going to have a 400, so we'll have two more doors they can use for the stuff. Um, so the wiring, yeah, you know, it's pretty much simple. We will need to make sure we have, or we know what is what about the cable before we start disconnecting and moving over. Uh, now let's look at the configuration. What's the option we have? Uh, let's go first in devices controller. Now let's switch the view so we can make sure what we're selecting, right? We know we'll be in Senegal and we have the first controller here. Now what I want you to take a look, please. Uh, let's say if I do that, what I have, I have KT2, I have KT400. Why do I have those options there? Because I could do what we call in migration, right? Switching the KT300, which is a two door controller for a KT2 or a KT400, that's why I said you will see soon why I say KT1 will not be <laughs> suitable there because the KT1 can only, I mean, you know. Ah, so, but in that case, they are going to a KT400. So once we do that and we save, please, let's read the warning you are about to convert your current controller to a new type. Only a restore will return the system to its former state. Pulling will be disabled for the con current controller. You must re-enable the pulling when the new controller is ready. Are you sure you want to continue? Okay, if we sure, we say yes. Okay, and that switches automatically to the express setup, but this time on the express setup, we only have the new component. Why I say the new component? The KT300 already had two doors. So here we have the whatever else we have new. For example, 
If we're going to use the three, the four, we could enable them, give them the name, proper name, you know, and move forward. For the express setup, I'm pretty sure you 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 all know. <laughs> you you all uh, get the proper knowledge on how the express setup and what's how useful the express setup is. Okay, and then I can add name and stuff like that. And I say okay, and then of course remember that was there was a a, 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 a note is very important. So now we done. We're going to have to add the serial number of the KT400 controller. And also you have to re-enable the pooling so the controller can get back to business and start, you know, doing his whatever he has to do. That's the first part. Now we just happen to switch to migrate from the 300 to the 400. Perfect. Now remember, they also want to go over IP. That means now, since the KT400 is the first controller, it will be very easy to go devices connection, select the connection, and the connection was on direct USB. Now, if I say, hey, I want to go for, you know, now I will add this MAC address of the controller, do whatever need to be done on the controller and I hit save and I have no problem whatsoever. And then the migration is done. So we switch from a KT300 to a KT400 and remember that could be a KT2 also. And that's the way it's done, my friend. I hope this video will help you proceed with your upgrade you're having in that system. Thank you for your question. <laughs> okay.